Guys! Okay. I want to leave to the academy. Back up. We're trying to find where these creepy, sneaky monsters could be hiding. Uh, not here, I suppose. To decide once again. Alright, here we go. We found ourselves a monster. This shouldn't be too hard now. We found it, so let's... Uh, okay! Alright, it seems like we've gotten ourselves into a monster battle against our first monster, which happens to be two ice collars along with, well, a fishbowl. Darn it, it's a fishbowl! Why? Alright, so I'm just gonna use, um... Well, I'm just gonna lo use Luma's epic attack to deal damage to the entire enemy team, and probably use my astral wizard to take care of the, well, fishbowl. As suspected, we're doing approximately zero damage to the fishbowl as we are a water type, as we are a fire type pet, and I expect a lot of damage back over here. Alright, so now that we've done damage to the entire enemy team, I believe I'm gonna switch back to Alan and then destroy everyone, a Alex, and then destroy everyone. Alright, so it seems like battles in the, the Ice Tower are standard. There's nothing different about them except you're just attacking monsters, defeating them, and then fighting more monsters. Quite boring, actually. But once we reach the top, we will be able to spin the wheel and see what's in it. That will be nice, at least. We know that's... You know, maybe I should get some pets which I want to level up because 24 times approximately... 30 is approximately 600... 700. 20, which is not too bad. Alright, so it seems like Prodigy is doing some shenanigans. They have put forth, um, well, not exactly. Well, Prodigy is doing shenanigans because in the Ice Tower, you'd expect all of your opponents to be ice, so they've put in a water pet to counter fire. Alright, so we have finished our first battle in the Ice Tower. It was quite a standard battle, nothing exciting happened. Now, what I'm looking at is the amount of stars which we'll get after. Alright, 35 stars each, that is not too bad at all. We have approximately two fire pets in our inventory along with one astral. And let's click next. We've got an initial five academy pages, it's not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> Alright, one battle, one monster defeated, two more to go. We only have to defeat two more monsters, how long could this take? Five years later. Another dead end. This is unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate indeed. What? Confusion. One million. Well, let's just head up. Up once again. To the side. Ah, as observed, the nether monsters here. Let's quickly switch out of my pet team so that Luma won't take any more damage and boom. Alrighty, another wizard battle has been accomplished. And now we're fighting against approximately a fish bot and some other pets. So let's do this. Ah, oh, that's nice indeed.
Alrighty, another standard wizard battle complete. And now all we have to do is we have to find three more masters. Three more. Now all we have to do is we have to find three more monsters, destroy them, and we should be good to go. Alrighty, so that was quite nice. Let's just click the next button and move on. Come on. Oh, okay. You know, I forget that there's no next button because Prodigy removed that and changed that with the X. Otherwise, the next button would be so much easier to click on. Like, it's just there. You don't have to move your mouse up. Hum. Let's head right. Down. We have definitely not been here, I believe we have. Yes. Another monster has been found. Let us destroy, bruh. Let us destroy this monster. And once we have done that, we shall see what will happen after finishing one floor. And of course, the only thing which you guys saw was a quick time lapse of this going on. Now it does seem like we're facing a same or similar type team comp as last time. So I'm gonna quickly use my mischief and see how all well this goes. That's six by ten, which is three by. Nine. Ah, well that wasn't much, that wasn't any stronger than, what do you call it, that wasn't any stronger than Luma's attack, so I am quite, quite heavily disappointed by that, but now I do believe we shall be able to complete off this stage quite easily. It will only take us a few attacks, so it won't take us too long. Aha, approximately... Yeah, well, there's only one pet or one opponent which remains to fight us. So now what we shall do is we shall destroy our one opponent. And once we have done that, we have taken zero damage so far. And once we destroy our only remaining opponents, we should be able to proceed on quite further. Let's see that. Times 4, 12, 1, 10, 10 by 8, 10 by 8, 4 by 5 by 4, 5 by 4. Fever. Ah, that is quite satisfying as we have defeated the last monster which we will ever need to attack so far on this one floor of the ice tower. And now that we've done that, we should be able to complete it, head to back to the elevator, and then we will be able to, well, complete the first floor of the ice tower. Let's see what happens once we complete it. I want to know. Ah, fortunately they show us the way back. Otherwise, it would have been quite triggered if we weren't given the way back because you guys would have searched for that and it would be such a nightmare. I remember a time when they didn't show you guys the way back, so you guys would actually have to spend like double the time trying to find how to get back. Found it! Aha! Let's step on into the elevator, of course, and... Now, we are given two options. We can go to the common room or go to the second floor. I'm gonna go to the common room. Oh, what? Alright. Okay, so it says that if we leave without winning three battles, we'll have to start over. So what I believe I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, well... Alright, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click go to the second floor. No didn't train me, I did most of the training myself. Hello? Well, you're too kind. Well, we still have seven floors to go, so let's keep our eyes on the prize. Yes, let's keep our eyes on the prize. The prize quite literally is a key which we need to collect, you know? That's not too big of a prize, but we still know we'll get ourselves a cool pet once we finish that. <sighs> ah, well if you guys ask me, I would call that a successful run in the ice tower. We finished one floor, we came 
one seventh of the one one eighth of the way there to um, get, helping um, what do you call it to helping Ada get out. So if you ask me, I would consider that a successful episode. We got ourselves access to the ice tower, played some prodigy in it, and yeah. Alright guys, so I hope you guys found this video sort of entertaining and yeah, if you did, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. Also, hit that red subscribe and like button. Wait, no, hit that red subscribe button and that like button. Ah, I don't remember that voice line, but okay.